Hello my dear students, uh, last class I explained uh, how to find uh, vertical stress uh, uh, under concentrated load uh, using Bosinesc equation and also uh, explained uh, how to draw uh, pressure distribution diagram for isobar and uh, uh, also vertical stress under horizontal plane and vertical plane. Today let us discuss about some more uh, uh, cases like uh, uh, under a line load, strip load and uh, uh, rectangular uh, loaded area and also circular uh, loaded area. So let us first take uh, vertical pressure due to a line load. Okay. So here you can see this is nothing but uniformly distributed load. Okay. That is a line load. Here Q dash this is uh, Q dash is intensity and uh, it is acting here okay uh, so let us consider an infinitely long line load of intensity q dash per unit length acting on the surface of a semi infinite elastic medium let y axis let y axis be directed along the direction of the line load as shown in the figure you can see here this is uh, along the y direction parallel to this y direction okay so uh, let us find the expression for the vertical stress at any point p having coordinates x y z now we have to find the expression for vertical stress at a point p okay here now all of us know radial distance at a point p that is small r equal to x square plus y square to the power half or square root of x square plus y square. So polar distance of the point p that is equal to capital R is given by r square plus z square to the power half that is r square is this r so that is x square plus y square plus z square to the power half. So uh, radial distance small r is equal to x square plus y square to the power half and polar distance of the point capital R is equal to x square plus y square plus z square to the power half. Okay. Now let us uh, consider length delta y of the line loads. The elementary load in this length will be equal to load is q dash delta y. Okay. Load into uh, distance which can be considered to be a concentrated load hence the vertical stress at delta sigma z due to this elementary load is given by this equation elementary load is here the small this is considered small step is considered okay so now the area of this is i mean q dash into dy that is considered dy uh, dy is nothing but delta y so the elementary load in this length will be equal to q dash into delta y so y small length is considered means it is easy to find the equation once if you get the equation for small length then you can find it for the entire length okay so that equation is um, elementary uh, because of this elementary load the vertical stress is given by this equation okay you just remember this final equation this no need to do this derivation is not important so just see how this vertical stress that is equal to 2q dash z square divided by pi into x square plus z square to the power 2 is equal to 2q dash simplify after simplifying this it it comes like this 2q dash divided by pi z into 1 divided by 1 plus x divided by z whole square to the power 2 so these two equations you remember to find the vertical stress in the above ex expression x and z are constants for a given position of a point p and only the variable is y also x is the horizontal distance of point p from the line load in a direction perpendicular to the line load when the point p is situated vertically below the load at a depth z we have x equal to 0 and hence the vertical stress is given by suppose now uh, this is the common equation okay suppose now the point p is situated vertically below the load only then depth 
z becomes uh, equal to 0 that time x equal to 0 so vertical stress is given by this equation because this term becomes 0 so only because x is equal to 0 so this is equal to 1 okay not 0 the whole term becomes 1 so this vertical stress is uh, given by 2q dash divided by pi z this is when when the point load is situated vertically below the load if it is not vertically below the load then you have to use this formula because there will be some value for x because there will be some distance so that you have to consider okay so i hope all of you understood now let us take the next case that is vertical pressure under strip load you can see here this is a strip load q per meter length okay here this state of stress encountered in this case also is that of a plane stream condition such conditions are found for structures extended very much in one direction such as strip and wall foundations foundations of retaining walls embankments dams and uh, etc okay so these uh, situations where uh, this uh, vertical pressure developed due to strip load is under uh, the you know, strip and uh, uh, well foundations also wall foundations not well wall foundations foundations of retaining walls embankments dams etc okay now for such structures the distribution of stress in any section except for the end portions of two to three times the breadth of the structures from its end will be the same as in the neighboring sections provided that the load does not change in directions perpendicular to the plane considered okay here means for any such type of structures the distribution of the stresses in any section will be same as of the neighboring section okay uh, so that you have to remember here and now let us solve this how we will get the final equation to find the vertical stress this is a load strip load of width b figure shows an infinite strip this is a strip of width b loaded with uniformly distributed load of intensity q per unit area now let us find a vertical pressure at a point P at a point P situated below the depth Z below the depth Z on a vertical axis passing through the center of the strip. Uh, uh, okay here we have to find the vertical pressure at this point. Let us consider a strip load of width dx this is a strip load here it is considered of width dx the elementary line load intensity along this elementary strip of width dx will be equal to q into dx why because uh, this intensity is q right how we write uh, the load intensity in the case of q into length but here we have considered only the small length elementary length elementary live load only this portion is considered so the load is equal to now q into dx the vertical pressure at p due to this elementary line load is given by this equation okay uh, delta sigma z is equal to this okay so the total vertical pressure due to the whole strip load is given by this equation this is for a single strip if it is for the whole strip then it is given by this here again it is derivations and all given you just remember this formula to find the vertical stress or this also you can consider sigma z is equal to 4q divided by pi into integration from 0 to theta divided by 2 cos square beta theta b equal to q divided by pi into theta plus sine theta the following table gives the vertical pressure at different depths below the center of the uniform load of intensity q and width b means this is the some uh, reference table to find the vertical pressure under a strip load that is suppose if the ratio of z divided by b that is equal to 0.1 then vertical pressure that is equal to 99.7 percent of q 
okay similarly if z by b ratio is equal to 0.2 then that vertical pressure that is equal to 97.7 times of q like that for the different ratios the vertical pressure value is given in this table now uh, i hope uh, all of you understood you uh, just remember the formula okay uh, no need to by heart all the steps uh, and derivation just remember the formula to solve the uh, examples to find the vertical stress now let us take the next type that is vertical pressure under a uniformly loaded circular area now uh, you have to calculate vertical pressure under a uniformly loaded circular area you can see here this is a circular area and load is acting here q per unit area here also small first elementary area is considered elementary load is considered so that is this is area is this portion area is delta uh, a and this is dr okay this is the radius r now the bosnes equation for the vertical stress due to a single concentrated load can now be extended to find the vertical pressure on any point on the vertical axis passing through the center of a uniformly loaded circular area figure shows a uniformly loaded circular area of radius a and load intensity q per unit area assume the soil as an elastic isotropic semi infinite mass let us consider an elementary ring of radius r this small portion is considered elementary ring of radius r and thickness delta r or dr on the loaded area now if the elementary ring is further divided into small parts each of area is equal to delta a the load on each elementary area will be q into delta a okay this area is delta a so the load is equal to that uh, intensity of the load into area that is q into delta a this load may be considered as a point load hence the vertical pressure at point p situated at the depth z on the vertical axis through the center of the area is given by this equation delta sigma z is equal to 3 into q into delta a divided by 2 pi into z cube divided by r square plus z square to the power 5 by 2 integrating over the entire ring of radius r the vertical stress delta sigma z is given by suppose if you integrate this equation you get the vertical stress equal to 3 qr into delta r into z cube divided by r square plus z square to the power 5 by 2 so the total vertical pressure sigma z due to the entire loaded area is given by integrating the above expression between the limits r equal to 0 and r equal to a so that vertical stress sigma z is equal to 3q into z cube and integration of from 0 to a radius that is 0 to a is into uh, r into dr divided by r square plus z square to the power 5 by 2 okay this is this you remember to find the vertical stress and also if it is suppose put r square plus z square is equal to n square then this derivation is reduces so sigma z is equal to kb into q where kb that is equal to this value kb is bosnes influence factor for uniformly distributed loaded area that is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus a divided by z square to the power 3 by 2 so how you have uh, this uh, for uh, kb value for concentrated load similarly kb for uniformly distributed circular load this is the equation where z is depth 
R is radius, Q is surface contact pressure. If theta is the angle which the line joining the point P makes with the outer edge of the loading, then equation reduces to sigma Z is equal to Q into 1 minus cos square theta. Okay, I so, sigma z is equal to q into 1 minus cos square theta. Okay. This uh, equation can be used when the theta is the angle which the line joining the point P makes with the outer edge of the loading. Okay. So, mainly you have to remember this equation that is sigma z is equal to q into 1 minus uh, this uh, bracket 1 divided by 1 plus a divided by z square. Uh, to the power 3 by 2 okay where sigma z is equal to kb into q okay so here uh, q is small q not capital q and z is a depth and r is radius if you have kb value like uh, how we have uh, 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 calculated for uh, uh, concentrated load using the table similarly here also you can apply using the table if there is no table then you have to calculate kb value using this equation okay suppose this is the table that gives the value of kb for the different uh, a divided by z ratio if a by z ratio is 0 0.00 then kb is equal to 0 only if a by z ratio is equal to 1 then kb is equal to 0 0.6465 if a by z is equal to 2 then kb is equal to 0 0.9106 like that for the different values of a by z you can find kb and find what is the vertical stress using this formula sigma z is equal equal to kb into q or if you don't have kb value you have to consider kb equal to 1 minus uh, uh, bracket 1 divided by 1 plus a by z square to the power 3 by 2 i hope all of you understood thank you